Hello guys, Ivan here and in this video I want to show you the Mercedes-Benz stand at the Frankfurt Motor Show and this is the Fest Halle portion of the stand and it has uh, two levels so first I will show you the ground level so here you can see the hashtag a lot of screens as you can see a lot of colors so really beautiful surrounding here in the Fest Halle so like this video, this will full review of this Fest Halle stand. So like this video, comment down below and subscribe for plenty more videos. So here as you can see this is a first press day. I will show you how it looked on the second press day as well. And here we can see the Smart EQ for 2 edition 1. So this is great car for a city with a great range. I will show you that later. And in the end of the video, I will show you the outside smart cars. So here, it's very, very good design, this car. Here we can see EQV, so this is the electric van. And here the main car is the new Vision EQS. And it's really interesting car because it shows you what Mercedes-Benz wants to do in the future with uh, electric cars as large as uh, an S-Class. So here we can see 24 inch uh, wheels. So these are super large. And inside we couldn't see only from the through the glass because the car was locked. We can see that these seats have ambient lighting on the counters, which I really like. It's a cool, <laughs> cool thing about these seats. And they look a little bit like a Vision Maybach seats. So they are very similar to my eyes. Here we can see the name EQS and this car has an electric range 700 kilometers. So what struck me more about this car is that it has a range 700 kilometers which is like 437 miles. So that's really a great range. So with this car you can do long trips like nothing else. It's very very good. And so you have also 350 kilowatts of power through the electric motors. So that's really like every electric car immediate response and also have new MBUX style. So this is like a vision what we could see in the future. And here we can see the A250e which is a plug-in hybrid. And I showed you this car in my previous video. Link will be down in the description box or you can check it out on my channel. And here we can see it in this beautiful paint. Let me know in the comment section if you know the name of this paint. And here we can see the ESF, which is based on the GLE, and this is fully automated vehicle. So it can drive automatically from A to B, as you can see here. It has specific display in the grill. It is fully electric. And for example, what we can see already in reality is in Mercedes-Benz Museum, there is automated valet parking of the SAE Level 4, so Mercedes-Benz partnered with Bosch and the car can park itself in the Mercedes-Benz museum. So there, there are first steps which are already implemented. Also actually there was ESF in 2009, so 10 years ago. And since then some technologies are already in a series productions like a belt bag for the S-Class, pre-safe system for the E-Class. CLS and GLE and also Active High Beam Assist Plus in Multibeam which is available for many model series right now. So yeah, interesting times to see the future here. And now we can take a look at the second floor. It's very interesting there as well. It's really interesting. Here is the energizing comfort. So look at this tunnel. It's uh, amazing how it's changing the color like in the Mercedes inside and the ambient lights. So the energizing comfort means that the car can set up the temperature, the smell in the car, the perfume diffuser, the lightning and music depending which mood you want to set up in the car. And we can see here some CLAs so everybody can try this system on their own. So here we can see the world premiere of the new GLE Coupe here in brilliant blue metallic and in AMG line and here on the stand with the strongest diesel 400D so really 
great design. I really like this car. You can check out my full review of this car linked in the description box or you can find it on my channel. Really great design with this sloping roof and a new style of the rear tail lamps. So really gorgeous car, this new GLE. And now it's much better in all aspects of the car. And when you walk, you can see the Mercedes-Benz Cafe. And this is second press day actually. And you can see the cars look a little bit different and there is like a little barrier to the cars. So you can only take a picture from a certain distance. At the first press day, you could walk close to the car. So that was a difference. It's a really gorgeous fast Halle. I really like this, uh, how this looks. This stand is uh, really something else. And here you have like a gaming zone. So you can see the people in the seats on the simulators. And also these red balls on the ceiling. And this is a Vision EQ Silver Arrow. So that's electric concept of the race car. Now it's displayed here. Here we can see the Mercedes AMG GLC 43. And this is a coupe shape. I showed you the SUV variant in a full review, but there was no coupe outside, only here. So I couldn't do a full review about this car, but I will do that as soon as it enters the dealers. And here we can see some surfing. So when the ESF 2019 is driving in an automated mode, the steering wheel and pedal clusters are retracted to reduce the risk of the injury during a car crash. And the greater interior flexibility requires new ideas for restrained systems and airbags with alternative installation spaces. However, the ESF 2019 has also ideas for a manual driving mode with daylight like light from the sun visor. Vitalizing interior light can help to keep the driver alert. So when I was sitting in the Festella here on the bench and looking at these screens, they were showcasing different scenarios in which you can use the Vision EQS or other cars in that matter. And here we can see the presentation of the Vision EQS. So we can see these seamless lines by Gordon Wagner, chief designer of Mercedes-Benz. And it has a lot of similarities with the Maybach in the interior. And here we can see the Vision EQS. So I will tell you something about this car. So it has a projectors instead of the lights. So that's really interesting. And in the front grille, you can see the Mercedes stars. With its innovative stretch one bow design, the Vision EQS takes the progressive luxury design philosophy of the EQ models. So in the front grille, we can see these projector lights. And there are 229 individual LED stars, which show a completely new approach to applying the brand logo. We can see stars also in the rear with the red color. And here the car is spinning for us. It's a really gorgeous design and also it is two-tone, similar as a Maybach. And here in ambient lighting it looks completely different. So really stunning design. And here we can see the lineup of new smart vehicles as I promised in the beginning of the video. So here you can see this is the first EQ Smart 4.4. So fully electric smart vehicle. And as you can see, here are the sub stats for the car. It has 140 kilometers of range, so around 90 or 100 miles. So that's a lot of range for daily driving around the city. Also, you can see the full LED headlights and new design of the front bumper. So here is a closer look at the interior. We can see a blue carbon decor which is really gorgeous and here are fabric seats with new interesting design and also we have a blue contrast stitching and here is the rear of the car we can also see the new tail lamps which have new design and overall the car is a lot different to the previous model 
but also it looks uh, somewhat same so you can recognize that this is a smart car and here you can see the interior of this 4.2 cabriolet version and it is in addition one we can see the carbon decor at the dashboard the dashboard has some displays and also a large display in the middle of the dashboard we have also different steering wheel and the seats have also different fabric here i think it's article leather and here we can see some stats for the cabrio 4.2 version as you can see this car is quick to 60 km per hour which is like 30 miles per hour so that's great for a city drive so guys that's it for this video let me know which car is your favorite from this video in the comment section down below subscribe for plenty more videos like this video share with your friends and i will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day